Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing? I'm doing something a little different today. There's this project in Eugene. It's called, let's see. It's called uh, The Artists of Eugene Art 404 are creating a series of outdoor installations visible along River Road uh, composed of teardrop shaped individually created these are the, uh, they're like a willow, and I was given one, and so it says composed of a teardrop shaped pieces individually created by artist members, community partners, and other artists and neighbors of all ages. Participants, we ask participants to create drop shaped art pieces to convey the themes of disruption, loss, reflection, and hope, and all they may be experiencing during this year of crisis and change. Participants may use our willow frame drops or not in any materials they are comfortable with exhibiting outdoors through October 2020. So yeah, this is what I was given and I'm going to go ahead and use this. And I decided I'm going to cover it in this canvas um, that I have. I think this canvas is gorgeous, but I'm not going to... Um, you know, just obviously leave the canvas as is. I'm going to mixed media it up. Now I could easily um, glue this around with some E6000 or something, but my my sewing machine is out and it's handy. So I'm going to um, go ahead and sew it up to this part on both sides. And then I'm going to um, put it in and then maybe either tack around it with the sewing machine or with glue at that point. And then we're gonna mix media it up. So. And at the end of the video, I'll be showing you some pictures, other pictures of the art installation that are already up on River Road here in Eugene. So I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm going to cut this. Now you're probably wondering why I didn't mix media it up before I cut out the shape. I just didn't really want to put a bunch of paint and glue and whatever else I decided to put on here in my, in my sewing machine. So, um... Yeah, that's why I'm doing it this way. And that's my story. And that's why I'm sticking to it. And I couldn't wait to sew. I actually like to sew, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this. Not too close. I'm going to give it some, I don't, you know, I'm going to give it some, some space. And again, knowing me, you know this will not go to, to waste. I found this um, fabric and I fell in love with the print. I haven't made, this is the first thing I've made with it, but I don't know if it's going to be... Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it at the print when I'm done or not. I don't know. I'm, I'm playing this by ear, you guys. I'm, I think I'm going to paint over it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to glue some stuff on it. Definitely going to stencil, but I don't know. So let's just lay it by ear. Winging it. That's kind of what I always do, especially with these projects that I've been doing. So much fun. I love the winging it aspect of it. So I need to go cut that right there. Okay, so that's where it ends anyway. So now my sewing machine's bunching up. I think the bobbin is weird or something. I don't know. I don't care. So let's turn it inside out. See what happens. I mean I double stitch back stitched on the all ends, so. I probably could have ironed this, but you know what? It's an outside piece. I'm, you know me, I am not going to get all cray cray. Not happening. I am not, you know, part of my journey is on Let's Make a Mess is I don't do perfection. And if I'm doing it wrong, then that means it's right <laughs> for me. I don't like the drama and the um, perfectionism of a lot of things that I'm seeing just takes out all the fun. Isn't that pretty? So this is going to be my cover. You know, it might fit it better if I iron, iron it. I don't know. We'll see. Let's slide her on in there and see what it looks like. Let's slide it on in. See what's going on. Ooh! Here's your little jacket. Oh my God, guys! Right? Is that not the coolest? Then, now what will I do? <laughs> now I will be gluing or tying this on. Probably I'll tweed, I'll use some uh, twine because I have some twine from the Dollar Tree. My only thing is I wish I knew how I'm going to um, um, make it uh, more 
outside uh, resistance. So I'm going to have to maybe scotch guard it or something. I don't know, but I don't want to buy anything. Anyhow, okay, so this is this. And now what we'll do is we'll trim around here. You know, just to, we have to use, yeah, we'll trim around here. Here's my seam. So we're just going to go like so. And here's my other seam. A little big, I don't care. Well, this one's pretty good. And then we'll just go. And then we'll play it. Oh, that's okay. Oh, it's actually perfect. Now I'm going to have to glue it. And I'm going to use some fabric glue. We're going to do some fabric glue right here. So it's not going to be perfect. I don't want any sharp edges. There we go. I like it better. Rounded. See, that looks pretty good. And it's not perfect by any means. Now, let's get out some E6000. I save my stuff and I use it like twice and then I throw it away. <laughs> so this will be the last time I use this stuff. Okay. Okay. Waste not, want not. Okay. And then I can always, you know, wrap, you know, tie, it. guess what I'll do, maybe, is I will sew, you know, some twine on this end, and then, you know, who knows? We're going to just go for it, guys. Going for it. We are going for it. Let me put some right here. This is the weirdest stuff. You know, have you ever noticed E6000? It's so strange. Then it ends up coming out the ends here. It's like, ugh, this stuff is the worst. But it's the best. Do you know what I mean? It's the worst, but it's the best. Let's see. Probably. Come on, you. Here. Let's poke a little hole. Poke a little hole. I don't want my pokey tool to get all ruined. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Walking down the street. Wait, come on. Come on now. You got this. You can do this. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Here we go. It wants to drip out when it wants to drip out. And it doesn't want to come out when you want it to come out. Like, right? What is that all about? I have Fabri-Tac too, but this is an outside installation, which I want. it's new to me. Woo, this stuff will make you high. This stuff will make you high. See, drips all over the place when you don't need it to. Won't come out when you need it to. I don't like the uh, design of this at all. At all. Get that out of hold. That ought to do it. Yeah, so we'll put something around there more, more, more beautiful. And trim it up a little bit better even. I have to get this off my hands because they're Hold on. Great old bed sheets. Gotta love them. And my cats have always scratched them up, so they always end up in the they always end up in the rag drawer. Okay, so this is a good Oh E6000, I love you, hate you. Oh E6000, I love you, hate you. But I was wondering what I was gonna do, and I just I'm really pleased with um, this base of you know. I might have some scotch guard somewhere. If I don't, I might have to break down and buy some. Although, I might have some other stuff too. We shall see. There we go. So I'm going to let this dry. And then as that dries, um, this will probably be the front. I'm going to spray it up. I'm going to twine this up. 
So I'm going to let this dry as I plan on what I'm going to do next. I'm back. The piece is out in the uh, backyard drying and I decided I'm going to sparkle it up a little bit and I was going to use buttons. I'm still not sure quite what I'm doing but I wanted to try to write the word um, hope on here. I need a smaller a smaller um, but this will have to do because I can't find my smaller you know what I'm trying to say, one of these, so we'll just go like so. So, hmm, so I'm probably going to put this on fast forward, but anyway, so here we go. what happened it's too big but that's okay because we got this all we're gonna do is we're gonna put this we're gonna cut the H like we're gonna go three on each one of the H's so there's that thank God these have little grids right guys and then yeah and three on this one so the H will be fine Right, like so. The O is fine. The P, we'll just take three off the P. Three off the P. That's fine. Now the E, we're just going to do one on each end. And then we're going to take the um, sticky side off. And then we're going to um, glue it with uh, it's probably some Fabri Tac as well. But it's got this is sticky back. So. See, and that's just fine. It's just fine. I think that's going to be great. And when you see that in the sun, hello, that's pretty. So let's get out the, I keep saying fabric tag. I mean this. So let's move all the stuff aside. And then we're going to go around, but with some, I don't know. We were going to, it's just, we're going. We don't know what we're doing. We're just going to go, guys.
Okay, we are back, and I'm going to tie this on here like this. It, this is my book binding um, thread. So we're going to go ahead and use what we got. I don't want to turn this over because these aren't dry. But... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm wrapping. I'm going to pick it up so I don't. I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm doing, guys. Sorry about that. But I'm basically just wrapping. Oh, okay, I'll just make a knot or two. It's not really a knot, is it, guys? Here, this would be a knot. Hold on. Let's do this. And then we'll tie a knot, right? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm tying a knot right here. Like this. <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. I'm winging it. There we go. We got a knot. That's all I wanted is a knot. Okay, now with that not tied, I can probably put on some kind of some kind of beads. Now I, I feel like this would be too brown. I feel like I need something like pink, blue. You know, like this is blue. You know. So, let's dump this out and see what you find in here. Here's some yellow. Here's a blue. Just to add a little. This is kind of. Let's see. Here's a yellow. Kind of bright. Okay. Should we go large to small or small to large? I think small to large. What's that? It's not even a button. And the purple. And call it done. What's that sticking out for? We're just going to leave it. <laughs> just because. See, remember, this is going to be outside, so I'm not going to be using any expensive beads or anything. I know. I'm terrible, but sorry. I know this area, and I know the area it's hanging in. It's not the greatest area in the world. Eugene is full of a lot of very... Um, you know, interesting areas. Just gonna say. Just gonna sigh. Okay. Let's see if I can find something else. Just put a little tail on there. Nothing great. Mm -hmm. So I put 
this big one on there? I think I should. It just fits. Yep, I'll put that on there and then we'll tie her up. And hope for the best. Not too far, too far. Too far, too far. There we go. Okay. Actually, I can just go up a little bit further with all of them. That's a great way to use your buttons up, huh, guys? A little tail. A little tail. Just something. There we go. That's all I want. And then we're going to call this little banner of hope done. <laughs> so, yeah. Kind of, well, I can reach down in a little bit. There we go. Ooh, there's actually a siren, and I, I've heard a lot of those lately. And that's rare for right here, it seems to me. But there's been a lot more lately than ever. And there we go. That's my. That is my <laughs> that is my um, submission for their little art project. It's kind of silly, but I think it's done, right? I think I should put some little sparkles on here, though. I'm kind of feeling like I should, but you know what I mean. Like, you know, at least those blue ones. I think I used all the bait on the blue ones. No, what a big pink one right there. That's pretty. Okay, that's gonna go there. I like that. And I think, oh, look at that, I left that open. That like fits just perfect. So that has to go there. It doesn't want to. very loose but if that falls off I don't think I'd care or that does not want to go I don't know why I'm not weird maybe I should really blob it on there There we go. Now it has no choice. Just let that sit. There we go. So there it is, you guys. There is my little banner of hope. And that is going to go on to an installation here on in on River Road. Um I don't think I'm going to go around it in black. I think it's just fine. I'm done. <laughs> I did my thing. We're good. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll talk to you later. Uh, oh, stay tuned right now, and I'll show you a few of the pictures of the other ones that are already on in the installation, and they're just adding to it. Okay, bye, guys.